So I want us to look at some few parameters where we have to gauge our life and ensure that we are making progress on daily basis. You don't just mature overnight. You grow unto maturity. Even the Bible talk about Jesus. He said he grew in what? Favor with men and favor with God. So Jesus himself grew. But the challenge is this. Some of you have been eating for a very long time and are not going. There is a, there is a problem. You need diagnosis. You need to be admitted in the hospital to check. I know a lady that was very slim and her father felt that her being slim was because she was not eating enough. So every month he has a special budget for her. The budget was that they buy her more, can make, they buy her more, golden more and the rest so that she can boost herself. And after they did that for many months, they discovered that she was not increasing. And she ate a lot. I will now wonder why. I will now realize that somehow you may not go far just because you are eating. Did today still remain a mystery because that lady is my senior sister. You know, all of us at home we look bigger than her. So by that felt, ah, let's help this lady now. Every month there's a special budget for her. So that she can keep eating and keep growing. So sometimes I will give my own to her too. Sister, just keep eating so that you can look bigger than us. Because we feel somehow. Because I say, are you the senior? I say, no, this is my senior sister. So she will feel somehow. But after we give her the milk, the gold mother, everything, she keep eating and eating and she was not going fat. I said, you don't just go fat by just eating. How many of you have rare poultry? You know, the, the, the secret of agric fowl is that they eat too much. But there are some special breed. No matter how they eat, they still look like this. It's a challenge. A friend of mine has a poultry farm. He fed them Ultima. He moved to Breedwell. If you moved to Vita, he said, Apostle, these chickens need prayers. That's why he said there are people that are ever learning. They are never coming to maturity. Something needs to be done. Spiritual growth is a function of your knowledge and understanding of God's truth backed up by his authority. There are many things that God looks beyond just your eating to grow you. Now, there was a time that there was a controversy in Corinthians. Many say they are for Cephas. Some say they are for Apollos. Some say they are for Paul. And I believe those guys were not supposed to be within the rank to be within those guys. They were not supposed to be within the rank to compete with Paul. But those guys were able to wield so much influence to a point where some put them within that placement. In the same way that sometimes somebody can listen to a message and say, hey, you sound deeper than even Adam L. Don't accept that. Some even say, hey, you sound more than Salman. You know, I went for a meeting. One woman said she don't like Adam L. Why? Because he talk against people. She now said she don't even like Salman because he's not married. Say, but me, she like me very well. I said, there is a problem somewhere. Let me tell you. We need God to help us as a body. It is possible for Cephas to have some influence, Apollos to have some influence, Paul to have some influence. They don't fight each other. That's why Paul came and said, See, I lay the foundation, Apollos water, is God that gives increase. If you look unto me, you look unto Apollos, you may never rise. So there are other things that God checkmate apart from just them learning everything that Paul taught them. There are people that apply every principle as we apply. They pray the way we pray. They study even more than the way we study. But today, their life, I don't even know where it is. So what was the missing line? Because all the ingredients of spiritual growth that you know, they apply them. 
and then discover that actually God looks beyond just the ingredient. That is the deficiency of that chicken that continues to eat and is not going. And my sister hey, that has a special diet and she's not still becoming fat. God looks beyond just what they gather in their head. There are other things that God evaluates and one of that is your heart posture. God will have to evaluate your heart posture. Is it truly in obedience to him? Or you are just doing this thing because everybody is doing it? Many people were just fasting and praying, but they are not yielded and submissive to God. The government over their life is different. Their priorities were different. Many of them have not given their all unto God. And I realize that you will never be able to grow if your all and your totality is not submissive to God. You must come to a point in your life when you have nothing. You have nothing to lose. Like nothing to lose. You are willing to give up everything. In fact, you have to come to a point where you don't even have a life. Most of the guys that you see them today become something. They were once upon a time in their life when they were nothing. Like nothing. I discover many of those guys who are fasting and praying with us but they have a lot of options. We don't even have an option. I was like Abutu. I was doing good in school until ah, the passion took me to a kind of way and you know, if you love God very well and he has not taught your academics and you are a student there is a problem. Now nah, yeah, I finished also with 2-2 two, two, but I got angry. I went back for masters. I had 4 points out of 5 points. And I, that was when I was even traveling the most. But at that time, God wanted to see whether will academics make me run. Because some of those are our guys. We fast and pray together, did everything together. Later on, when the academy began to go down, they said, let's leave God first. Let's organize our academics. Till today, they are still trying to organize it. Because they, they miss a measure in God. Why do we get hungry? Why the mystery of hunger? Is God trying to punish us? I realize that truly it is impossible for somebody to grow if he doesn't eat food. It is impossible. So the reason why God makes us feel hungry is because We have to grow. So anytime you feel hunger and thirst, it's because your body says, I want to grow. Because hunger is a mystery that God encompass growth to it. And that is why you will not even know that you are growing until when you go to your village. Is it not you that is small before? Is it Chris? Chris? Ah, is that you? You look big like this. And you are wondering, when did I look big? You don't see that you are growing. But if you can check 10 years picture back, you discover that I totally have changed you. Because sometimes you may not be able to observe it. It's the same way with spiritual growth. You may not even know you are growing. But you can be intentional about it by checking yourself within some parameters the reason why you have to abide within the kinds of set parameters is because physical growth may be irreversible spiritual growth is reversible as such you must ensure that you are conscious about it you may not be conscious about physical growth you keep growing as long as you are eating but spiritual growth is reversible and if you are not deliberate about it there is every tendency that it, you, it will reverse you downward. In fact, you enter minus. How 
do you know that you have grown or attained some level in God? How? Now, many more times we talk about the need for us to grow spiritually. How will you know you have grown spiritually? I said, lady, what are you looking for in God? What are you looking for in God? How will you know you've even gotten what you are looking for? How? That level you are contending for, you're asking God for a new level, new measure, new anointing. How will you know if you get it? Yeah, we have established already that you don't only pray to grow. I believe that you pray to build capacity. Prayer creates more hunger. And that is why when you pray without studying, truly, you are going to blow up. And when you study without praying, you become a theologian. You will check everybody's posts on Facebook just to criticize them. And your life too is not advancing. One of the easiest ways for you to know whether you are growing is to check a few things. One of the things you check is is there a level of increase in the grace of God upon your life? It is true that when a man begins to grow spiritually, there is an increase in the supply of grace. If what you are doing, if you are eating the right ingredient, God will supply more grace to you. If you are not praying in the flesh, if you are not fasting in the flesh, if you are not studying in the flesh, you will sense a heightened supply of grace for what you are doing. Upon this basis, I believe that Christianity is never supposed to be an activity. Christianity begins as a lifestyle. That was why they were talking about how the lifestyle of the apostles betrayed them, even among the hidden. Today, many people have to say, I'm a Christian. No, before we know you're a Christian. Then, when they just see you, they know. Many more times I say, we trust God. Maybe one of these days, when we are doing Sunday service, you know, I'm from the ERCC denomination. All those elders, I, pardon me if there's any elder among our midst. All those elders that sit at Bagadi, the characteristics of an elder in the Bible. I'm saying, if anyone is sick, he should call for the elders. It was a special work for them to lay hands on us so that we can be healed. You see, one of these days, and you know that. Many clergy now are known by a color. You see, if there is no any better means to identify you as a clergy except by a color, there is a challenge. All what you have is the ordination of men. If God did not ordain you, no matter how much oil they pour on you, it's a waste of time. I'm telling you. I can go and pay money today, they will make me archbishop. Today, I can ordain you as. Hey, what kind of? There are some titles. Very Reverend Apostle. But those things are useless without an ordination from God. time past men were not known by their color men were known by their deed their deeds speak for them at the gate today ours don't have deeds so they are known by their title and by their color 
so we trust God that one of those days we will close all the elders and all the ones that had the colors we will lock them inside we will look for youth we will tell you to hold sticks and koboko and bring the sick bring leopard bring all kinds of people say elders today If you don't do it today <laughs> you know in israel they stone fake prophet if you are a minister if you are fake they kill you say so can you pray for the sick now you see when that kind of judgment before them when there's you know today people bribe to become elders in church people campaign to become president these are things of god these are hollow things no man no man you have to be called into them but those times if they tell you you will be crying gone are those days when they give you position you are crying how will i do it now people bribe and they sit upon high places that's why when the glory of god come he judge them first Why not judgment before those kind of people? When we say, can you be an elder, you run away. Because you understand the kind of responsibility are portion for you to be an elder. Today they don't have deeds, so they have a color, so that we can reverence them. Some have big titles. When for the meeting, they say, the guy is a bishop. I thought I would come and enjoy something. When I had the guy talk, I said, what kind of, who gave you the bishop? I need to trace your genealogy. You see, Christianity is not supposed to be an activity. It's supposed to be a lifestyle. If you don't have the lifestyle, the activity will be a challenge. The activity is supposed to strengthen the lifestyle. That's why I believe that Christianity should be at least 95% lifestyle, 5% activity. If you have too much activity, it's a waste of time. Many ladies today, you ask them, who do you want to marry? A God-fearing guy. What they mean by God-fearing is a guy that attains weekly activities i come to church every day and sing to the choir there are more kind of people that are more dedicated your parameters are too wrong so today please one of the things that you will notice if you are going truly spiritually is that your prayer your fasting and everything you do will increase the grace of god upon your life and the grace of God, if it's increased, it will make you live a life of holiness, a life aligned to God. Every day you will not be calling and asking, I can't pray again. No. In fact, I just see no, I just did this. Oh, no. It is because the activity was not fueled by a grace. You are doing them in the flesh. Another thing that is going to be increased in your life. It's an increase in your love for God. One of the ways that you are going to know that you are growing spiritually is that there is just an increase in your love for God. There is just a passion, a zeal, a desire within you. A love for God that you can never explain. You don't even know why. That love is what pushes you to do everything you do. Pushes you to come for meetings. Pushing you to travel around. The same when you love a guy and you travel secretly to go and see him in Abuja. Nobody knows. Even your mother doesn't know. Some met themselves at backyard. Son will be hitting them. They are there sweating and she's smiling. <laughs> Rain beat them. They are okay. Love pushes you to do crazy things. If truly you are going spiritual, there will be a love you have for God. You are coming for a meeting. You have accident. You come. You will still come with leg like this and enter into the meeting may not be convenient you will stop many things just to ensure that you take a little bit of the measure of God because God will never be satisfied the proof of love is that you are never satisfied with the person you know our parents marry themselves after two years they are angry with each other you wonder how did I marry you I marry you at night like Joseph like Jacob 
and you cannot see the love they once upon a time professed to each other. And mind you, this is a long time journey. The man is not dying anytime soon. And every day you wake up, you're angry seeing him. Without love, the journey becomes so weary. One lady was angry with me and we were traveling. I said, you know, the journey is very far. We still have about seven hours. You better set to this anger. Now, if not, you will be boiling inside for seven hours. And I'm not going to change my seat. I'll be here. But of course, I bought her something small and now we are laughing. You see, that's how their, their brain is. <laughs> so, but what I want you to understand is this. If truly you are growing spiritually, you know, this is teaching, so we have to be very... If truly you are growing spiritually, there is just a hunger, a passion, a love for God that you cannot explain. You are willing to let go of your boyfriend if it's going to affect your level of alignment to God. So even if you are in a relationship, sometimes you wonder, as if I love my boyfriend more than God. Even if you are married, sometimes you wonder, as if I love my, my wife more than God. Let me adjust. Let me. There is just an increase in your love for God. You tell your wife, I want to just be inside. You tell the boyfriend, please, can you not call me tomorrow, today and tomorrow? I just want to be inside with God. He will not understand. He doesn't know that there is a love within you that is increased on a daily basis. Because the more you grow in your love for God, the more God hides you. I want to have you closer to him. Not the one that you are praying, blah, 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 blah. You are studying all the time. And yet, you are still on WhatsApp. You are still on Facebook. You are still talking. You are just, you are finished talking about uh, breasts and bra and everything. Then you go. Sometimes you'll be afraid to say some of those things because of the way, the love for God you have. You feel as though you have defined yourself. Many of those guys never checked made their life like that. So they were still fasting and praying and tonguing and doing everything. But when God see them, he said, these are carnal men. A carnal man is still filled with the Holy Spirit, just that he is led by his flesh. A woman slept with the senator when she was done. She stood up and the senator said, What are you saying? She said she wants to check to see whether the Holy Ghost is still with her. Of course, the Holy Ghost is still with you. But you have lost something. What you have lost is not tongues. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm saying. There are parameters to check made to see whether you are growing. Maybe at that time her tongues will even change higher. And she will feel, yes, yes. She never knew that God has taken a step backward. If you truly are growing spiritually, there will be an increase in wisdom, revelation, and Iraq Adonai. Your fear for God. Your fasting, your prayer, your everything. If your heart is genuine and sincere towards God, you will notice that there is an increase in wisdom. An increase in your revelation. And how much more you fear God will increase. You will be afraid to speak some things that are lies. Or for people call them white lies. You don't want to know how many ministers lie on pulpit. I'm telling you. You don't want to know how many ministers lie. They are not fake. Oh, but they don't even just know how they lie came out. They said it was not the way it is. If you are truly going spiritually, you will be afraid. I see hallowedness. If you are truly going spiritually, your revelation will increase. Your wisdom will increase. The way you used to add before, if it, in fact, if you listen to your message of three years ago, you say, is it me that preached this thing? <laughs> Why? You have advanced. But if you listen to your message of three years ago, and it's more powerful and potent than today own, you know there's a problem. You have become Abuja pastors and Lagos pastors. <laughs> but that God, hey! One guy said, I know God, but that God can't preach you. I can't also. <laughs> Whether not Jesus also, not also. That's why they have all kinds of names. If you hear their names, even their ministry name, you know that God didn't speak like that.
if you are truly going spiritually there will be increase in wisdom your wisdom will increase your revelation will increase every day you will be having encounters when you take your phone you begin to write deep calls unto deep anytime I take my phone to write if you check my phone my notepad is full of too many writings many of you I say bring a book let me see what God is teaching you there is nothing you know that there is a challenge a man that is growing spiritual there will be increase in his wisdom and his revelation and if you are truly growing spiritually you will be prompt to obedience to God's instructions when was the last time you find it a challenge to obey God anytime you discover that you are finding it very hard to obey God you know that actually there is a challenge in your growth spiritually the more you grow the more you focus more on obedience one of the greatest desires of a true son is just to feed on the will of the father and to be obedient doing it daily he can die for that anytime you find yourself having challenge obeying God and you know it's God you know God spoke to you and you know it's him but you are finding there's a challenge you try to manipulate you know that actually there's a challenge with your good but anytime you find it's very easy for you to obey God apostle says something he got a scholarship to go to abroad and he said no God is not here you see if it is not because he's growing if it is you you say ah, we will fulfill the will of God there and that will be your Kadesh Benya he will fall You know, recently, I used to have, I, I have all kinds of invitations. Some people call me from Pakistan, call me from Canada, Australia, India. Come, come, come. We'll be your, we'll give you platforms. I'm telling you. We'll take you all around. We have many people there. When you preach this platform, now we'll take you here, we'll take you here, we'll take you here. Hey. And I start discussing dollars with you. Dollars. You see, okay, this is. This is, this is. You see, if you don't have a direction, you don't know what God is telling you. You will obey men and disobey God. Sometimes, for you to be aligned with God, it means for you to be misaligned with men. If you discover that you are too aligned with men, sometimes it means that you actually misaligned with God if you are truly going spiritual you will be prompt in your obedience you won't be afraid to say no to something no matter how good the price is you can say no and it will shake you even if you go and cry you know that God has a better plan for you anytime you find it very hard challenging to obey God you know that there is something your good is a challenge. You are with a lady. God said, leave the girl. And you are still asking 15 prophets. A prophet God. If God has already spoken, you know God has spoken already. You are with a guy. It's a challenge. God said, leave. You are still confirming from prophet. You need people that will speak to you according to your idol in your heart. You will find one. You are finding the challenge to obey. You know that you have not gone. If you are growing spiritually, I'm assuring you it will be easier for you to let go of anything. As long as the voice of God is there, you will turn your back. There are times people who come and tell you, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this. You ask God. God said, Mm-mm. it looks very compelling. But because of your obedience to God, you will turn your back. People will look at you and say, you're a fool. But sometimes you need to be foolish to truly obey God. And go. If you are truly going spiritually, you discover an easy access to peace and grace also. No matter the kind of storm that is ravages in your life, you will not be disturbed. You know, even as I'm here now, if they call me and they tell me that my mom just died, I won't cry, I will finish the sermon. I will go back home. 
if you know the kind of situation that ministers go through you will wonder you will say we are wicked because when people want you to to shout and cry and hold they see you very calm and they wonder you're a witch sometimes when people come and they say their father just died i say it is well I say apostle it is well i say yes it is well there is just a peace within that they cannot understand my peace i give unto you when you grow spiritually all your worriness all your confusion everything will be there there will be a comfort of the comforter there's just a way that this, you can easily align your heart to the standpoint of christ man that is not going spiritually will panic over everything every small thing makes you panic they are killing people in lavia you don't even know where the thing has not you just had it to before you know you enter the hand of the people that are killing people so we hear your story that they kill you one guy heard that they say they are killing people is in just he started packing his clothes Say so you lack spiritual growth. Do you, do you, in fact, you have not even started. Is there any secure place? The only secure place is in Christ. Everywhere is a disaster. Everywhere there is trouble. If you are truly growing spiritually, you will not be worried about the storm. You know that the storm will be over. No matter the challenge, there will be peace within you. You say, ah, the church has caught fire. Your ministry is burning. Glory be to Jesus. When everybody is panicking, you are just calm. They don't understand. You are not in the same level with them spiritually. When Zadi at one time, they called him to Agatha and said his mother died. He preached that same Sunday. I was surprised. These were men that have grown to a level. If it is you, you will cry for 15 days inside. Your eyes will be like this. If you have grown spiritually, if God says, Leave the guy, you leave the guy. One lady says she wants to kill herself. Why? She wants to cry. The guy break up with you, you want to kill yourself. I know that she's not just a babe, she's a babe. Let me tell you, there are things that are ephemeral. You can go and bypass them. You lose a job, let it be. God will create another way. You have to know God as Ebenezer. He can always help you and make a way. God as Jerry will provide. Let me tell you, there is no anyone we cannot do without. You are not the Holy Spirit. We can do without you. There is no anybody we cannot do without. If you have truly grown spiritually, you discover that it's only God that you have to cry. Take not away your glory from me. Not a human being. No matter the situation. Do you know? I know my father will not be with me forever. I know that. So I won't be surprised the day he will be gone. If I have a crusade that day, I will go and minister. I'm telling you, I'll come back and eat food at all. I'll keep one of his pictures to be remembering him. Let me tell you, if you have grown, if you are growing spiritually, there will be a level of peace. That no matter the storm, it will weigh you down. I know a guy that backslide. Why? This was one of my two people that I trained then in Zaria. That guy preached like me, act like me, do everything. Powerful. Just because he failed some courses and he got angry with God. How can he, man of God, face some courses and I to go and sit in 200 level class. That's the case. He will pass light. Like Joe. That guy went into smoking. Today he import weed from US. 15,000 to import a weed. He import it to smoke. What is carryover? I know a guy that jumped from you know, our home is then in Zaria is about three or four story building. A guy, just because they gave him two point something, because he's a first class student, he got angry, jumped from the top, and fall and die. In that same department, there are people that are still managing with 
with 15 carry over they didn't kill themselves the peace of god was sustaining them you you jump and you fall there's one guy in my department if he fit out of 100 if he get 98 he'll be angry so what is this two marks i got it the guy will be sick for some so what nonsense is now what you lack is the peace of god you lack spiritual good so you have to know that you're doing. of course if you are going spiritual there's also be an increase in your knowledge and understanding of god knowledge is an awareness of truth understanding is the assimilation of truth but the goal is to is for wisdom wisdom is the application of the truth because if you know something without understanding it it will be good if you understand something without applying it it will be good so wisdom is the application of your heart onto the wisdom of that which into the understanding of that which you receive if you are truly going spiritually there will be increase in your knowledge and understanding anytime you take the scripture to read you see things beyond what normal people see is because you are actually going many of those guys that do all things and ever learn is because they are not understanding i'm telling you the truth they read it with face value have the head knowledge and they argue it everywhere i also said that if you are truly going spiritually be willing to let go of everything you will see if i perish i perish if it means for you to remain with one shed for 15 years you will be if it means for you to fast you will fast and remain also if you are going spiritually you will be aligned to the current speakings of god many more times you can give us a perspective to what god is doing for see at a season one of the reasons why many people cannot tell you where god is now is because they are not growing spiritually if you checkmate your life and you discover that many more times you don't know where god is your life is always confusing me you are not growing spiritually you must be the first prophet of your life ensuring that you have an understanding of what god is doing at the moment having a basic understanding of the current speakings of god if you are truly going spiritually there is no season that will be strange to you you have an understanding of what is going on around i'm telling the truth god does not accept you reveal his secret to his servant if you are going spiritually you'll be current with god and truly if you are also going spiritually one of the parameters you check is how much more you yield to the holy spirit how much more you respond to the promptings of the holy spirit how much more god can wake you at night and say do this you will do how much god can lead you and direct you for something and you will do it yielding to the holy spirit is very important as you are going spiritually you find it very easy for you to yield to the holy spirit very very easy you can easily switch i know what the holy spirit will want me to do at the moment at the time and also of course if you are going spiritually one of the parameters to check is what we call stature in prayer the stature in prayer is not just the ability to shout no, it's what we call prayer power. Your ability to remain. Pray. I told you that the only way you can know people that truly pray is when you have enough time for prayers. Because a man that has started in the place of prayer will pray whether it's 100 hours. As long as he's still alive, he will still be praying. He will switch to all kinds of level of prayer from groaning to intercession to whatsoever. So he will keep all kinds of she will lie down on the ground and say, oh, 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 oh. There are still prayers. You, when you start small, after three hours, the devil will say, Don't it, is your leg not paying you? Your leg is paying you now. Okay, sit down, sit down. When you sit down, can't you close your eyes? Just close, sleep small, sleep small. You'll be obeying the devil without even knowing. A man that has stature in prayer will always be disobedient to the devil. You that don't have the stature, what happens is your mind will wander about. When we begin praying, you travel to Kotono. From Kotono, you go back to Kemerun. From Kemerun, you travel to Lagos. Then you go to your boyfriend's house. You travel to your grandmother's house. You travel for five hours. You are praying, but you just pray for ten minutes. All the rest, you are wondering. You don't have stature in the place of prayer. And small time we begin praying, you sit down. You begin to sleep. Why? 
because you don't know the ways of prayer if you are growing spiritually the strength of your prayer will always increase i'm telling you and you'll be willing to remain you won't wonder about if you are tired of sitting you stand if you are tired of standing you sit if you are tired of you walk you will do everything to ensure that you still pray that's that job you manipulate every natural law to ensure that you remain one of the parameters to check is how much more you forgive people quickly if you are totally going spiritually you don't have issue challenge with forgiveness if you see that you are having a challenge forgiving people it means that actually you are praying studying fasting but all in the flesh you are not aligning to the truth if you find yourself easily forget forgive people no matter how much more they hurt you know that actually there is an elevation you don't hold them at heart also you have to check how much more you express the fruit of the spirit vis-a-vis the works of the flesh many of you if you check your life right now there is more works of the flesh than works of fruit of the spirit one of the way we know whether you are going spiritually is how much more works of the flesh have died and how much more fruit of the spirit are finding expression in your life if you cannot give expression to the fruit of the spirit i wonder are you going after 10 years you still remain the way you are you must be intentional and put yourself within these parameters and ensure that you advance i also say that if you are going spiritually you have more understanding of the ways of god and the ways of the spirit the communication of the spirit will not be alien to you you won't be a stranger to the presence of god no also if you are going spiritually you'll be able to discern spirit and discern man discernment goes beyond just knowing which one is fake which one is right you must learn the way to discern spirit i told you yesterday that you walk by faith not by sight if you are growing spiritually you come to a point where you know that an angel is here a demon is here a kind of spirit is here god is a spirit the bible says god is spirit angels are spirit demons are spirit you too also have a spirit if you are going spiritually your discernment will sharpen to a point where you can be able to discern which spirit is available at the moment and what you need to do to align with them and partner with them at the time if you are going spiritually you will discover your life is more obeying the laws and the principles of the kingdom you will find yourself easily fulfilling them i asked a guy i said when was the last time you break the ten commandments basic ten commandments you discover that if your life is always contradicting the ten commandments as basic as it is that's a challenge if you are growing spiritual you will find yourself fulfilling them very easy you don't have challenge obeying the ten commandments it will be your issue you have more matters to keep up with if you are truly growing spiritually you also have a large heart to accommodate people you'll be hospitable there will be a kind of love revealed in your life that you cannot explain you'll be so hospitable you'll be willing to lay down your life for others if you're also trying growing spiritually your culture of giving will be increased truly how much more you give for kingdom activity kingdom advancement will increase everybody is called as a kingdom financier the same way everybody is called to pray it's not a special thing for anyone of course there are people that will have to put more but if you know how much more people give you know that you're nothing somebody has always out 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 way you in giving truly if you are going spiritually you will not find a challenge giving to god especially for kingdom advancement if you're also going spiritually second to the last there will be genuine love for others you find yourself loving others genuinely they may not be deserving of your love but you will love them genuinely you just find yourself loving them just like that many of them will hurt you but you just find yourself loving them true love makes you vulnerable to people but if you are growing spiritually you become vulnerable i assure you and lastly if you are truly going spiritually check your life are you that humble enough are you broken in spirit a man that is growing spiritually doesn't just it's not just a man that prays and fast it's a man that is humble enough and is broken in spirit anytime he misses the mark he's always willing to go down on his knees and ask the lord to forgive him he's prompt to repentance He's a very humble and simple man. A man defines humility as being available for people that cannot him. If you are truly going spiritually, you'll find yourself many more times keen and humble. Pride and arrogance will leave you. No matter whatever level you are, you know that it's God that has helped you thus far. you find yourself simple, assessing, accessible to people and also be able to help them out. And you yourself will be broken in spirit. You won't be too proud trying to find a defense for your for your 
sin no it will be easy in repentance so can we bow our head and just pray and ask the lord and say father from today i have had few of these parameters i don't know how many in my life has been deprived of give me the strength to align to them let this and many more find an expression in my life father may my life not be a contradiction to your truth help me as i grow spiritually as i feed upon the ingredient for spiritual good the prayer the fasting the study let these other parameters find expression in my life may my heart posture be right towards you may i not be a contradiction to the truth help me oh god help me oh god help me oh god can you pray can you pray can you pray this is a solemn moment kalamana supra kapatu kupeka supra kapaka tu peka teka poko tu kopoko poko tu kapaka teka pesa bakapa Shiba kaproska bantiko bali kaparias kopalia kapaka tu peketelia